Good morning, warriors. So check this out. Narcissists, if they discarded you, or you discarded them, at, what's more worstress is this, when they discard you, walk away. They blow the bridge up themselves because they never planned on ever having to come back. This is how confident they were on that next monkey jump. And what's crazy is this. When you move on and become indifferent toward the narcissist, now they feel betrayed. I think that makes sense. <laughs> Let's take five seconds. Let's take a badass walk on the beach, y'all. Don't forget to get your coffee, your hugo, whatever juice you want. You might want to take a sip right now, right now. <laughs> Otherwise, it might come out your nariz. Oh, yeah. Five seconds, yo. And look, seriously. Gift yourself five seconds to calm yourself down because ain't nobody nobody is worth fighting over, arguing with, or going to jail for. Can they get a what what? I venture to say over 90% of those incarcerations right now had they managed their emotions wouldn't be there. Have self-control, warriors. And you got 90% of the battle licked. Five seconds, let's do this. Five seconds. Little loop interrupter. Come on now. Release slowly. All right, all right. Let me tell you something. There are a lot, and, and there are a lot of opinions about whether narcissists fear you or miss you, love, and, and all this. There are a variety of different flavor of narcissists out there, sociopath, psychopath. No two are alike, just like you. People of sound mind, no two are alike, no two flavors. Your fingerprints are different. Each one, custom. So, when I talk about a collaborative, a, a, a cohort, a coven, a group, or a generalization of toxicity, narcissist, sociopath, psychopath, the reason I throw them all in one lump and call them narcopaths is because you don't know at what level the devil is. You don't know what the rank is, just like they don't know what rank you hold in the spiritual world, in your understanding. It's why many get so fucking anxious, and they'll ask you point blank, are you woke? How woke? Well, they'll go into spiritual talk just to see if you throw in key metaphors and verbiage and acronyms and and, and to see how well versed you might be, because believe me, narcissists, sociopaths, psychopaths, all study theology. Oh, they're theologians, and most know the law better than most people that practice law. Warriors, the thing of it is this narcissists do carry an emotion and feeling called fear. In fact, the problem is they dwell in those troubled waters all their life. If they still got you fooled up until now, it's because you're still seeing the mask. They make everyone feel like they got it like that. They're the ones that hollow the mostest. Living the dream. You see, the ones living it don't have to say it. And the thing of it is, is this. Narcissists fear this. 
they fear people that don't play into their bullshit, their manipulations. The, the people that do take that pause. Look, this is why it's so important that you pause. Sometimes you got to pause for longer than five seconds. Sometimes the longer the pause, the better. If anything, the narcissist doesn't need to know what's on your mind. And on your mind could be nothing. You don't know. You're just pausing because you're trying to figure it out. But the narcissist now thinks your pause means you did you done figured them out. And so they're going to tell the plan. <laughs> so they're going to tell the the... The ideas in their own head because it couldn't get the ideas out of your head. And they'll start something like, I know what you're thinking, this, 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 this. or I know what you're going to say because you're not expressing yourself boombastically like you used to. You don't pop it off right away and speak what's on your mind. That's when they liked you the mostest, the most betterest. But because you don't fall for that, now you're showing indifference and they pick up on this and no one trip up on red flags and get triggered quicker than the narcissist because they're always having to carry their head on a swivel remember they spend all their lives in fear and the thing of it is when they start to smear your name shows a level of desperationness in trying to get your attention or trying to win you over or trying to get you to follow or they need you to show in a sort of public type display, especially in the work environment, that you respect them or y'all are cool. Because being cool with you opens doors that you had no idea. This is what clout chasers do. During every group, they just need to stand by you and talk a little bit. And then you'll see them take flight like, and then point every now and again towards you like, yeah, I know him. Well, you have no idea the manipulation being used in your name. Oh, we go way back. Went to school together. <laughs> oh, they make shit up just to get some, some. You know what I'm talking about, the new new? Yeah, yeah. Look, ultimately, this is what narcissists fear most about the warriors. And this is how they identify you and get triggered right away and back the fuck off. By you understanding how silence is deadly kryptonite to the narcissist narcissists are going to pick up on it that you don't care because you're not going into attack mode immediately when you go into silent mode they're thinking the worst you know you figured it out and they need to back off and the other thing is you becoming indifferent immediately but still being peaceful and kind to others around you truly sends a bitch slap unlike no other to the narcissist because everything in your body language over here is just like yeah. but to the narcissist everything changes oh in obvious fucking ways so they understand beyond a shadow of a doubt I figured you out even though in your head you only remember you're only being silent because you're trying to figure them out and check this out never be afraid to give back to the narcissist the same fire they gave you but only to the narcissist at that moment and then don't carry it with you past that it's called pushing through your target and moving past, never looking back. Beast mode. Warrior mode. When you're able to do this, when dealing with a narcissist, you become their mirror image. And the mirror doesn't show emotion if the reflection is emotionless. This is to be indifferent to your now beyond proof, beyond reproach, your enemy. A frenemy is a flying monkey. 
A flying monkey is a follower to a narcissist, sociopath, psychopath, an enabler. Treat them the same. Remember, it's different levels, different devils, different rankings, different IQs. Some are higher functioning. Others, D, 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 D. Yeah, that's what they sing when they come home with the report card. D, 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 D. They got a D. D, 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 D. <laughs> and look, narcissists know they can't defeat their own mirror image. And they can't run from it. Once one warrior identifies the narc, word spreads like wildfire because respect in that warrior's silence and avoiding toxicity and gray rock in it with obvious intent sends a clear message to the tribe without an explanation ever being necessary. This is the kind of respect narcissists fear that others have over them. This is the envy they carry because they wish they wielded that kind of power. But they lack consistency. Your body ever play jokes on y'all? Ask him for a friend. You know that morning fart? It's either going to belch a good one or come out smooth. Or That's your litmus for the morning. You know. Okay. And look, anyone past 30, there is no smell test. that you funky past 30. So you just got to walk fast. But that morning fart gives you an idea as to whether you need to shoot one in the crowd or if you can sneak and walk fast or in an aisle, you know, in an emergency situation. You ever throw that quiet one in the morning and go, oh, it's going to be a good day. And then you're at the Walmart scooting your buggy and all of a sudden you go, it's a safe area, right? You know, I can just walk fast through the aisle. And then all of a sudden, Rah! And everybody shows up. Ask him for a friend. Look, I'm going to tell y'all something. Past age 40, don't trust your body like that no more. Because from what I hear, once you hit the big 5 el pedo sale con premio. The fart comes out with a gift. <laughs> hey, y'all. Red flags. Red flags. Let's go over these, man. Red flags. Bad people. Most likely to say, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a racist, but... <laughs> no, they, they go like that. Most likely to laugh if they saw a blind person trip. Damn it. That's so wrong. Who has seen the most people in this room naked? Mm -hmm. That's the social butterfly. The group hoe. Long, long, long time ago, they called them coke whores. Who has slept with the most bartenders? Don't raise your hand, just smile. <laughs> mm -mm. Most likely to have sex with her cousin. Damn it. Damn it. Who has slept with someone in the shortest amount of time after meeting them? Meet, greet, and slam some meat. 
Who's had the craziest ex-girlfriend or ex-boyfriend? Most likely to secretly run a meth lab. <laughs> and call themselves a cook. Most likely to think that they're the funniest person in the room. Most or least likely to be a target for identity theft. Don't <laughs> narcissists wish they were they were chased to be doppelganged. They they wish they had that much value that somebody want to steal the identity. <laughs> <laughs> Most likely to join a cult. Least likely to be remembered at a party. Dang it, man. Most likely to crack a beer during a eulogy. That might that might be a redneck funeral. Yeah, yeah. You better watch it, because that's where folks go to pick up chicks. <laughs> In their lifetime, who's, who's most likely to become a pimp or a madam? Yep, 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 yep. From what I hear, AI is causing a lot of folks to lose their jobs. Gonna be a whole lot of pimping going on. All right, y'all. Today's fortune's cookie. Your virtues are priceless treasures. Shit. It's the new currency. Being clean, having loyalty and virtue, will be the new currency. Think of all the ratchet shit right now that you're avoiding. STDs. Having contact with total strangers. Carrying death sentences. Purposely trying to infect others. Warriors. You are the prize. That's why you're hated. That's why you're envied. Pass your test. Hold the line and keep your feet on their throats. Because many narcissists are going to try and hoover just to give you what, what they got. They can't stand for you to have the freedom to not be strapped like a slave to pharmaceuticals just to stay alive. Lucky numbers, 40, 23, 44, 51, 20, and 10. Ow! Check it out, money bags. Don't be a fool with it. <laughs> get out there and own it, man. Y'all get out there. Shake the dirt off your asses. And remember, you're going to trip every now and again. It's going to be far few in between. Matter of fact, you'll laugh about it. Kind of go like this. That was a good one. All right. Next. It's never goodbye. It's always until next time. Bendiciones. Namaste, Lord.